My undergraduate and master's degree were in systems design engineering and my PhD was in industrial engineering and I started specializing in human factors from the undergraduate level. Ergonomics or human factors engineering is a combination of life science knowledge about human capabilities and limitations and the activities that the person is doing. It involves using knowledge from the neck up about how people process information and make decisions as well as information from the neck down, how their body reacts to the, uh, the forces, the activities, and uh, the, um, the experiences that are happening around them. Human factors engineering or ergonomics can help make things match what people expect the world to be. The Thrill Lab uh, it looks at all applications of human factors engineering to amusement. Uh, the rides that you see in the background, that's part of what we call our micro world for ride control. We're developing the next generation ride control devices and we'll be able to make these models move in response to the control operator's input. All these rides were built by students in the lab. Each year, students improve on the models were built by the students in the previous year. No matter what you're doing, whether it's work or sports or recreation, uh, human performance relates to accomplishing your mission. In amusement or recreation, your mission is to have fun and not be hurt. If you choose a ride that's maybe too dynamic for your body strength that may be uncomfortable, uh, or if it's too boring, you won't enjoy it enough. So good human performance means designing the ride to get just the right response from the rider. New amusement rides are becoming more interactive. It's not just about making things bigger and wilder. You will find now in theme parks even interactive queues. People are expecting their game and recreation environment to be more interactive. The advantage is that in the queue, if you have people interacting in the queue and on the ride, uh, you engage them more with what's going on with the story you're trying to tell them with the amusement. The Canadian National Exhibition, or the X, has been a tremendous host for us for the past several years. We've been able to take a group of students every summer to observe during the ride construction, observe during the carnival, watching the people who put the show together and the people who consume the show as patrons. It's, uh, I don't know, in my opinion, one of the best experiences for the students having the opportunity to go and see it uh, in real life. To study rider behavior, sometimes what it takes is just standing on the midway looking at people. You can learn a lot by watching people in different settings, watching what they do in response to what's happening around them. We have the good fortune to have a new device coming into the university, which will be an actual full motion ride simulator. We'll be able to move people around in different directions and show them a high definition, three dimensional video of a ride experience. So we're really looking forward to getting that equipment. We'll be able to actually put people on an amusement attraction and uh, gather not just subjective responses, but maybe biological data, heart rate, and blood pressure readings from them to get how, uh, how excited they're finding it. The amusement industry is a really important industry for the tourism sector. So while we go to it and we're patrons, it's also a job for a lot of people. And I think that's a really promising field for an engineer who likes to play for a living. I'm more concerned about people ruling out engineering careers because they think it's all about technology. In fact, engineering is a lot about people. There are some fields of engineering that specifically focus on people like human factors engineering or biomedical engineering, but every engineer, the duty to protect the safety and well-being of the public is paramount above every other duty. So you can't even be a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer unless you care about people and you will think about people every day if you're an engineer.